passers. There are not many great instinctual passers. And um, even if you're an average pressing team, I think you can create a lot of turnovers and a lot of trapping situations. Um, Cause I think a lot of kids are uh, just, again, an underdeveloped skill of passing against pressure. So that's something that we try to have every practice is passing against pressure. And uh, I think it's been a big advantage for us, uh, you know, over my career. We, we believe, and all my coaches do, that the practices should be harder than the games. I know that's very simple, but uh, in actuality, um, sometimes people let that kind of slide as the season moves on. We, we want practices to be harder than the games, so the game seems a little bit easier. Uh, so we, we, we really want to work hard in practice. Practice is the coach's time. We're really excited about practice. Uh, we want high energy, and uh, we want it to be harder than the games. And we figure that if practice is harder than games, players will be more prepared and they'll be more comfortable in the games. Your best players are the players who can play comfortable under pressure. And it's just like taking a test. If you've done the work in class, that final exam is a lot easier. Same thing with the game. If you've done the work in practice, your game is the exam. You should feel a lot, you should feel more comfortable. If you haven't done the work in practice, you're probably going to be nervous of the game and not perform very well. We want every practice to be really, really competitive. And uh, we really feel every drill should have a goal, a winner or a loser. Um, so we want them, when we chart all this, we keep score, um, we will run if you're not successful in the drill. Uh, so every drill should be a competitive because we want competitive people. And it's a great chance to observe your players, whether they're winning or they're struggling in a drill. I um, was listening to Gino Oriama. I've had, been really fortunate. I've had two players that go play for uh, Coach Oriama at UConn. And one of the things he likes to do is observe a player in a drill who's just getting their butts kicked and seeing what their attitude is. Are they giving up? They're just waiting for the drill to end so they can get to the next drill? Or are they just playing as hard as they possibly can, even if they're down 10-0 in the drill? So he likes to see what that body language is like from the players who are losing the drill. And you can also see when a player is winning the drill, are they easing up? Do they, do they ease up when they're ahead? Uh, do they give up when they're behind? These are things that you like to know about your players and like to eliminate. You know, we want you playing hard all the time, no matter what the score is. And everybody's philosophy on teams in practice, when you're doing drills, four versus four, three versus three, five versus five, uh, we mix it up. We'll have even teams during a practice. We'll have starters subs during a, a practice.